When in the Moss 360 platform and needing to add a user, it's very simple. From the home screen, you're going to go to Users and hit Directory. From here, you have options to add just a single user or to add a bulk amount of users. If we want to add a single user, we'll go up here to the top and we'll hit Add User. We will type in all the user's information. When it gets down to the domain, this is going to be your domain without any spaces. So for ours, it would be toxic, be your company's name basically right here. Type in the email address, and then you're going to hit save. It's going to prompt you to type in your password, and then you'd hit confirm, and that device is going to show up here. Now, if you are needing to add multiple users at one time, the easiest way to do that is to go to more, and then you're gonna to go to bulk import users. Keep in mind when you do this, it does take roughly about 45 minutes to an hour for this list of users to come up in the portal for you to be able to use. From here, you're gonna download an example or a formatting, and it comes up in an Excel or a number sheet that you're able to use. And then you also can click here and that's gonna give you instructions on exactly how to save it. So, make sure that it's no bigger than two megabytes. Make sure that each row is spaced down. And I'll show you that as soon as I open up the actual document itself. Give me just a moment. So this is what the document looks like. Go through and you can delete the other information. Now, when we type in usernames, what we typically do is we do a generic username for that group. So it allows your devices to kind of be intermixed or changed. So we would type in and then maybe for the username would be something such as now over in the domain, the same thing as we did before, your company name domain without any spaces. Now the email address is something that can actually be a blank email address. This does not have to be real. This isn't going to go to anybody. Nobody's going to get an email from this. The phone number we do not need a list. The location we do not need a list. The authorization type that does need to be changed to local. And then the password we can change the same, leave the same. We normally leave the password something generic just so it's easier for you to be able to um, tell somebody what the password is whenever they're actually actually loading in in the document. Make sure you save it. Once it's saved, then you're able to actually go in and update it. So we're going to say sample user list. We're going to go ahead and delete all the rest of these. and we're gonna upload it. So we're gonna go to file. We need to actually make it into a CSV document is what we need to upload it as. And wait for it to export to the CSV. And we're going to go back into our other screen and we're going to be able to browse for this file. and we're gonna be able to upload it. Again, it's gonna ask us for our password. And it would actually upload onto the document and again, and it takes about 45 minutes to an hour for it to reflect right here. If for any reason somebody leaves the company and you need to go through and delete a user, you'd be able to hit the delete user right here on the screen. This is also where you're able to go and actually view the user to see any types of um, the email addresses associated with it, the phone number associated with it, the different type of how it was added in. So for this one was added in through the Active Directory. And that shows you and completes how to add users to Moss 360.